a diamond. It's probably one of the blindest purchases that a consumer will ever make. You know, they're in love. They're going to a jewelry store to buy a diamond to give as an expression of love to the woman, perhaps that they want to ask to marry them and spend the rest of their life with. And they don't know anything about diamonds. Our role as a professional diamond grading laboratory is to provide an expert, disinterested third party opinion as to the quality of the diamond. At the American Gem Society Laboratories, we have different sections where testing and procedures are done on each of the diamonds. The value of a diamond is based on what a lot of people have always heard is the four C's. Four C's are cut, color, clarity, and carat weight. A lot of people think that cut only refers to the shape. Round, pear, marquise, square, oval. But in reality, cut in the diamond world also refers to how well did the cutter do his job when he fashioned the stone? And our area of real expertise is, did he put the right angles on the stone to make it the most beautiful that it can be? Our grading system goes from zero to 10, zero being the best and 10 being the worst. We have a cut grading system that is leading edge technology. You know, we use optical physics ray tracing software. We have developed metrics for evaluating how well a diamond is cut. Cut in and of itself can affect the value of a diamond. If you take all of the three factors being equal, let's say you have a one carat diamond and it's a G color VS1 clarity, and you can go and find diamonds that have exactly those other three factors being identical and differences in price of 60%. So how important is cut? It's the most important of the four factors. Clarity refers to the presence or absence of blemishes and inclusions, what we call birthmarks in or on the surface of the faceted diamond. Naturally, there are very, very few diamonds that have no blemishes or inclusions, uh, and they command the highest price. And then Mother Nature makes a lot of those diamonds that have quite a few birthmarks. And uh, our job is to find them all, to plot them appropriately, and then to assign the correct clarity grade for that amount of birthmarks. What do I think the most important thing about a diamond is, if she likes it? Um, ah. I think it's the color. <laughs> okay. Color refers to the uh, absence or presence of little tints of color in a diamond. Most diamonds have a little bit of yellowishness to them. Some are even brownish. Very small percentage have no tint at all. They're colorless. They're like a glass of distilled water. Naturally, those diamonds command a higher price. So we have these known master stones and we take this diamond and we set it in a special lighting box that duplicates what's called North Daylight. North Daylight just happens to have the least amount of ultraviolet content. And then what we do is we compare it and then we say, well, this diamond is closest to this sample, so therefore it's this grade. And then we assign a color grade. Carat weight is a weight. You use a scale to weigh it. We weigh the diamond on high resolution scales that weigh to the third decimal place. When it says this weighs this much, so many carats. And um, for interested consumers, there are 140 carats in one ounce.